Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and I sell a little bit on Poshmark too. So today's video, I'm just going to go over a quick little haul that I got. I just got home from um, 99 cent day at our Goodwill. Um, I know it's different all over the country, but our Goodwill does one color tag on Sundays for 99 cents. And I think I got either 11 or 12 items. I'm not hundred percent sure. I either, my bill either rounded up to 11 or it rounded up to 12. We'll see once we pull this stuff out. Um, I got a hodgepodge of stuff, all women's, but, um, the first piece I grabbed is the brand is the Anna, a new approach, which, you know, isn't, oh, sorry. I touched my microphone. Isn't the greatest, but it is a wool coat. And then I realized it's new with tags. It's a nice size. It's a woman's extra large and, um, yeah, it's like a wool blend. So I think it should do well, like a pretty, like olive hunter greenish color. So for 99 cents, I figured we couldn't do wrong. Also in the coat section, this is the brand, um, city chic. I've sold a bunch of, it's like a plus size woman's brand. Um, but it's, yeah, it got a nice fur hood on it. And then it's not wool, though it kind of looks like it. But yeah, it's just like a plaid coat. Got these cool like snap buttons on the front of it. It is a XXL, which is a women's 24, like a mid length. So we'll see how that one does. At the end, this video is going to span me photographing all these items listing these items and then i'll tell you in the end how much i listed everything for i just realized i forgot to cut the goodwill tags off that's why i was here so this coat originally they wanted 29.99 for it and though it's new with tags that's still a lot of money this one they wanted 10.99 for keep in mind i paid 99 cents for everything um oh geez throwing things on the floor so the next item, I wish it was a bigger size. It's a torrid, like cropped, almost like band style jacket with the buttons on both sides, but it's new with tags, but it's a torrid zero, which is just like a size 12. So that part I don't like, but I figured new with tags for 99 cents, it seemed like a no brainer. And it really is a cute jacket. Um, this is vintage i've heard people talk about it before express tricot and it's an angora um sweater it's short sleeved looks cropped to me unless you're very short waisted i quickly looked it up in the store because i had no idea like on the price point on this and their tricot vintage items i guess they're from the 90s can do really well. So as I said, I'll tell you at the end of the video how well we did. I keep forgetting to cut the tags off. I'll be going to photograph and then realize I still have the Goodwill tags on. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, this Catherine's shirt. I do like selling Catherine's. I prefer to sell it more in like a 3X or bigger, but this one was a 1X, but new with tags. So I figured I would take a chance on it. I think it will do well. They wanted $7.99 originally for that. I forgot to look what the other things I just cut off were going for. I lost my scissors again. That was not a very flattering camera angle on the chin. Chin up, people, chin up. Um, this is Avenue, which I don't buy that much, but it's their sweater designer collection. And it was a 26, 28, like um, three quarter sleeve, lightweight sweater. I thought it was really good for the season that we're heading into, like a nice fall sweater. So I figured I'd take a chance on it. Um, this is my tried and true staple brand that I buy a lot, JM collection. It's, wow. Someone can't hold on to their stuff today. It is um, just like a lightweight cotton blend. 
blouse with like a pin tucking. That's what this is called in the front, pin tucking. Um, it was an 18W. So decent size and cute blouse. A little bit springy summery. Maybe I'll have to hold on to it. Um, I thought this one was pretty, especially for the holidays. Here, I'll show you. It is, the brand is just Alfani Women, but um, it's a blouse, but it has these pretty, you know, like um, bell creped sleeves. It was a women's 20. So I was like, oh, it's cute. Oh, there might be something on the front of it. Let's see. It's hard to tell. I'll have, no, there is. All right. That one's head into the wash. I tried to look so carefully while in the store for only things that did not have spots, but that is the name of the game. You always get stuff home and are like, where did that spot come from? All right. This is also an Avenue piece, but it's Avenue Parisian Bell collection. Really cute. Has like a side tie on the waist and this like pretty purple graphic what size is it it's a 26 28 also so yeah i thought that was a pretty top um this is just kind of like a basic chico's it's only a size one but i really don't think this top was ever worn the material is like so silky but also has this stiffness to it that i'm like i do not think anyone ever wore this shirt it appears to be new without tax. So I will still sell it under the pre-owned category, but I will write that I don't think it was ever worn in the description. But yeah, it's just like a pretty basic top. And then the last thing I got, I do believe this is Alfani too, um, plus size, yeah, 3X. It's just like a shell, like sleeveless shell, but it had like some gathering in the front i figured it was a good piece to be layered this time of year when it starts out chillier and gets warmer so yep so what did i get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it was 11 pieces then total because then we have the one that we need to wash all right i thought you could hang out with me while i photograph a little bit um i did want to talk about how my week has been going. Sorry, it's hard to talk and photograph, I just realized. Um, I, like many of you, suffer from anxiety, and I have just had a really bad week. Um, I had some things that triggered it, and I just could not get it under control. So since I like to be very transparent on this channel and on my Instagram, um, I wanted to talk about it and just be honest and say that I have not accomplished much this week at all. Yesterday was the first day that I had listed, I think since Tuesday something like that. I redid like my old listings. I'm sorry. I know the lighting's crazy on here. It's because the photography lights are behind me. Um, I redid a bunch of old listings, you know, like sold, ended and sold similar um, to kind of keep the store going, but I wasn't sleeping and I just, I just couldn't do it. My heart wasn't into it. And I just want to say that that's okay. Sometimes, you know, there are going to be times in your life when everything is not all rainbows and sunshine and you got to listen to your body so i just kind of chilled and by chilled i mean cried and worried a lot <laughs> and um and as the days went on it got a little bit better and um yesterday i woke up and i was like all right i can do this like you know just go downstairs and work and you can get your stuff done and so i definitely am on the upswing now um but I just wanted to acknowledge it, talk about it, because I know it's something we all go through. And I think I've learned an important lesson. I can't photograph and talk at the same time because my brain 
was not letting me do both. All right, I just finished listing the pieces. So you can see the um, Alfani I listed for $19.99. Same with the Chico's. I did that Avenue top for $21.99. Justin listed some whites in between there. Um, the Sweater Collection Avenue I did for $19.99. Same with the Catherine's, and I've already actually have interest in that item. I did $29.99 for the Express top and $29.99 for the Torrid New with Tags. Um, I did $39.99 for the New Approach jacket and also $39.99 for the City Chic jacket. So the um, pleated sleeve, I think it was Alfani blouse that I found the small stain right there on the front. I've already washed it because I was about to throw a load of darks in and it appears to have come out. It's line drying now. In the JM collection piece, um, it had, when I put it under the lights, I felt like I just saw the tiniest bit of like creamy color in the white right here on the front. So I um, had a bucket about to go of items soaking in OxyClean. So I threw it in there just to kind of brighten it up some and see. It was like one of those things when I put on the photography lights, I saw it, but when I took it out from the lights, I couldn't see it. So better safe than sorry. I just threw it in there. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get both of those listed tomorrow. Um, I guess that's all I have for you. It was a short video. I honestly didn't think I was going to get a video out today. Normally my videos come out at 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings and it is now 107 p.m. on Sunday and I'm just wrapping this one up and I still have to edit it and then I have to render it and upload it and all that stuff so you'll probably be getting it closer to this evening um I just felt bad not getting a video out but as I talked about my mental health has been struggling a little so um hopefully I'm on the upswing now um I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch if you're new here and you like to see the ramblings of a slightly unstable woman <laughs> hit the subscribe button and um feel free to comment below hit the thumbs up i'll see you in the next one take care